After a long season of travelling up and down the continent, the moment is near. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson, as always, on these special occasions for commentary. We're getting close to kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Inter. Well, Derek, what a final this should be. Both of these sides have played some great football to get here. I just hope we see them at their best today. This should be a great game. Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Matt Doherty plays with Reggie Long in the fullback positions. Hume Min Son plays with Lucas Moura out wide. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Harry Kane. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic gets the nod in goal. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Frey in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. A potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur with the kickoff. Reguilon. Now Harry Kane. Son. Deli Alley. Magnificent read, fine tackle, Stefan de Frey. Well, I think many would agree, Hyung Min Son seems to be at the peak of his powers now. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural. Oh, player. hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Another perfect position to read it. Ball lost by Inter. Rebier. Now Romero with it. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Kane. Must take the lead here. Oh, a goal for Spurs! It's the opening statement in the final. And it could be massively important for them. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. Well, back underway here, and that really should shake up into a bit, you would think. Chalanolu. Well, great read there to intercept. Romero. Eric Dyer. On the ball, Reguilon. 
Now Dyer. Fine sequence of passes. Matt Doherty. They do pass the ball with authority. Can he make it count? Magnificent defending. Barella. Matteo Damian. It's a weighted pass. And it goes down as a missed opportunity from there. Romero and Javier with it. Reguilon. Kane. And they need to get tighter here. Tremendous block. Andrea Pinamonti. Barella. The ball with Martinez. Chananolu. Beautifully weighted ball. Now he must get it out of there. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. Kane. Son. Really good diving save. Let's see about the delivery. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Son. Skip. Deli Alley. Given away by Tottenham. And there it is, the half time whistle. Potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of... Well, back in business here and work to do for Inter in the second half. Reguilon. Oliver Skip. Doherty has it. Struggling to keep the ball. Chananolu. Brozovic. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Being pressed hard. Kane. Delightful pass. Lucas Mora. And a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Javier. Now Harry Kane. Deli Alley. Precise ball movement. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Enter exploiting the space on the flank. Crisp tackling. Deli Alley. 
Oliver Skip. Romero. Now Dyer. Reguilon. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Son's ball into the middle. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. And the play stopped. They will make the change now. And over it comes. And a time for composure on the ball. Brozovic. Perisic with the ball. Oh, the threat is there. It's a good inter move in the making. It's an opportunity. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Just 15 minutes remaining. And a fine tackle. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Space and time for the cross. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Well, wasteful from Spurs. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Pabier. Spurs still on the attack with the minutes ticking away. Can they find a winner? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Brozovic Eddie Salcedo and breaking at pace with Menes De Frey Varela has it Brozovic Martinez Varela will it happen for them can he put them in front just couldn't get it through. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Rebier. Reguilon. Now Son. Kane. Skip. Deli Alli. Here's Kane. Pierre, body on the line. Barella. Eddie Salcedo. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Spurs trying to use space to good effect. But they dealt with the threat first.
Matteo Damian might be able to get in behind the defence and take it away he won the ball promising looking attack Deli Alley well, putting it wide from there disappointing Half-time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. Alexis Sanchez Eddie Salcedo Sanchez and still danger here they had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball the goalkeeper Matt Doherty not sufficiently accurate that pass from Lucas Brozovic Chalanolu five minutes left of the second period of extra time if nothing changes it will be decided by means of a penalty shootout and the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure and here now come Tottenham a goal at this late stage could settle the issue oh yes the goal that might well be decisive the goal that could give them the trophy. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power. The keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. And we will have just one additional minute. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition, but my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth, and now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win, just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. And really a match made in heaven between players and fans. 
And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now...